Third, unsupported conclusions. I love this one. Click. See, I learned. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so again, let's, let's go with height just because it's, it's easy. If we were to measure height in a population, ideally the data would look something like this, where you have a few people who are shorter, a whole lot in the middle, and then a few people on the end. However, real world data, click, is bumpy. Any scientist will tell you that. Real world data is not the same as ideal data, but there, there, there are bumps in it. Click for me. So here's the question. When you see these bumps, is it a real effect? There is something going on there, a, a statistically valid effect, or is it just random variation? To tell the difference there, click for me, that's why we need statistics. Anybody who wonders why we need statistics, that's why when you see these bumps, are we looking at a real result or is it just random variation? If you flip a coin a hundred times, there is going to be a point in there when you get five heads in a row. It's not because, oh, I was lucky at that particular time. It's just, that's random variation. In order to know, you need to do statistics. You cannot just eyeball it. However, throughout this paper, they eyeball it and they make conclusions on that all over the place. And I'm just going to give you two examples. Click again. All right, so here's a quote. Survival deteriorates for females between seven years and 11 years while improving for males during this period. That is a quote from the paper. That is a quote after they say, click, male and female survival estimates are not statistically different. So just to be clear, they say there is no difference between males and females. Oh, but look, there's a difference it looks like. So let's talk about that as if it's a real thing. And it's not, right? Second, and actually the more disturbing one for me, they say there is a notable deterioration of survival between two years and six years, and therefore they make the recommendation that facilities should avoid separating moms and calves during those ages. However, click, turns out that if you actually do the statistics there, that two to six year thing is not statistically valid. It is a random bump that they pointed to and looked at and pointed to because it fits their narrative. Okay, it is not statistically different. It's just like that, that bump I showed you in the previous graph. And in fact, if you do look at it, no animals that died in that age range were separated from mom. They are literally just making stuff up. Okay. All right, so that's the third one. 